Wingo Talk. Welcome back. Today's hot topic is Elon Musk before SpaceX. First, what kind of technology do you think is important for the future of humans? Our first vocabulary word is pioneer. This can be a noun or a verb. Here, these people are pioneers. They're traveling to a new part of the country that doesn't have many cities or other things there. Definition: verb to create or use a new idea or technology. Noun: a person who is the first to discover a new place or do a certain action. Examples: Henry Ford pioneered the way cars were manufactured in factories. Number two: Pioneers who traveled to the new part of the country had difficult lives because there weren't many towns. Number two: Unconscious. That man is unconscious. Definition: Not awake. Sometimes because of a head injury, but it could also be because of some health problem or something else. Example: He was knocked unconscious during a fight, so his friend called 911. Hold someone back. The people in the green, they are holding back the man in the blue shirt. Definition: To block or prevent someone From going further, example: Anakin Skywalker thought his teacher Obi Wan Kenobi was holding him back, so he left his teacher so he could become stronger. Potential: That little plant can become big, so we say it has potential, right? It has a big future. Definition: Possibility. For future greatness, example: LeBron James showed potential when he was a high school basketball player. So when LeBron was just playing for high school, people thought, "Wow, he could become a great NBA star," and he did. Game changing, game changer. Definition: First, adjective, so important or different. That a business story or game changes or has a new future. Two, the noun, a person or event that changes the outcome or direction of something. Examples: The iPhone was a game changer for the mobile phone and computer industry. After the iPhone, everything changed. Number two, the game-changing moment was when the coach. Gave a passionate speech to the team, so maybe the team was doing really not well. They were losing, and everybody thought they will lose. But maybe in the middle of the game, the coach gave a speech to the team. Everybody said, "Hey, okay, let's try our best." And then the game changed, and then they they worked harder. They got more points, and they won. So at the moment that changed the game was the speech. We call it the game-changing speech or the game-changing moment. Elon Musk has become an American legend. Before the age of 40, he pioneered the finance, transportation, and space industries. He made billions of dollars in the process and has since built some of the world's most advanced rockets and vehicles. People like Musk are often narrowly defined by their accomplishments, but there is a lot more to them. Than just their material success, seeing what their lives were like before their fame can reveal more of who they really are. Musk was born in Pretoria, a large city in South Africa. Despite his family's wealth, he had a difficult childhood and was often bullied by his classmates. Once. He was thrown down a staircase and beaten until he fell unconscious, 
an attack that left him hospitalized and unable to return to school for a week. Regardless, Musk was a very ambitious child. He spent most of his time reading books about technology and learning about computer programming. Feeling that life in Pretoria held him back from his true potential, Musk decided to leave South Africa when he was a teenager. He was accepted at a university in Canada where he studied physics and economics. After a few years, he moved to the United States to continue his education. Here, he started a map directory company called Zip2. After a few years, he sold it for over $300 million, becoming a multimillionaire at the age of 28. He then co-founded X.com, which turned into PayPal and was later purchased by eBay for $1.5 billion in 2002. Musk used his new fortune to once again start a new company. This one aimed to make spaceflight more affordable. He called it SpaceX, a company that would go on to develop game-changing rockets that could be used more than once. On the side, he also co-founded Tesla, a revolutionary electric car company. It was around this time that Musk became a household name. But few know of his humble origins as an awkward, bullied boy from South Africa. Our chart today is kind of a timeline of Elon's business projects. First, we see Blastar. He, he developed this game when he was just 12 years old, then he sold it for $500. Next, when he was a college student, he sold computer, computers and computer parts from his dorm. And then, a couple years after that, while he was still a student, he bought a 10 bedroom house and he turned it into a nightclub so people could come there and buy drinks and kind of party and he made a lot of money from that too. He said just one night of the nightclub paid for one month of rent. So it was profitable. Next was Zip2, which he founded in 1995 with his brother and he sold it four years later. Uh, he kept about 7% of that which was around $22 million. So that's when he became a multimillionaire. And then uh, PayPal, which started out as X.com, um, but as it grew and joined with another company, it became pa uh, PayPal. And eBay bought this for a lot of money and Musk kept $180 million from that deal. After that is SpaceX, which was founded in 2002 with his own money. So after he sold his other companies, he had a fortune, right? He had a lot of money and he wanted to really start the space company. So he had to use his own money. Uh, very soon afterward is when he started Tesla. And that was also super famous. SpaceX and Tesla are his top two famous companies. Um, and on the side, he did Neuralink and The Boring Company and also Solar City, which is now, I think, part of Tesla. Okay, discussion questions. Number one, which business of Elon's do you think is the most important and why? Number two, do you think difficult childhoods create great people? Why? Number three, do you think starting a colony on Mars is important? Why or why not? Maybe talk about how much money it costs uh, or how it benefits humans. Number four, would you accept a job that pays well but has a lot of stress? Why or why not? So a lot of pay but every day you're, oh, 
so much stress, right? A lot of work to do and it's very serious. Number five, what holds people back from achieving success? Is it because they need more money, uh, their friends or their family or their education? You know, what keeps people from doing more work or greater work? What do you think? Okay, opinion, our final question. This is the question that you can write on wingotalk.com so students and your teacher can talk about it and give you feedback. Next, here we go, the question, what was a game changer in your, in your job field or field of study? Explain what it changed and how. So if you're a doctor, you know, what in the health industry changed hospitals forever? Or if you are an athlete, you know, how did sports change forever? You know, maybe Michael Jordan, somebody like that, that changed basketball forever. Okay. Please write about this on wingotalk.com and I hope to see you next time. Thank you.